Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis, and this is for trading on February the 16th, 2021. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with their money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. Uh, so in terms of uh, overall market conditions, a lot of optimism in the market right now. Uh, we are seeing still the bullish momentum is continuing. So part of the reason is uh, positive kind of comments in regards to the stimulus plan um, from the US around, they're looking at about $1.9 trillion in stimulus um, that they are wanting to uh, to push forward with. So that's one. And then um, also a lot of the markets are looking past um, what's going on in the economy currently and looking at uh, the world post vaccination. And when we are able to open up oil doing really well as well. Part of the reason uh, behind oil doing well is um, with the markets being so bullish. Uh, and that is positive for oil because the oil demand will go up. Uh, but also we see that um, uh, that there, the weather, uh, we are going through this crazy weather, cold weather right now, and uh, Texas has been impacted by the cold weather as well. As a as a result of uh, uh, that, we there are a lot of refineries that are shut down, so the supply is being impacted. Um, and also in Saudi Arabia, um, there were some drone attacks uh, as well. So all of that impacting the supply chain as well. So all in all, looking quite positive for oil as well. In terms of the news that's coming up here, um, not a not much in terms of critical news. Uh, we do have zoo economic sentiment numbers. If they come in as expected, that should be positive for the euro. Uh, we also have a couple of FOMC members speaking. So with the Fed members, um, essentially, if they hold on to uh, what was said before, or they kind of repeat what was said before and continue on, suggest that Fed is going to continue on with the current mon monetary policy, then uh, that should not have much of an impact. So let's move on to our charts now. Uh, we will start off with, uh, with Euro dollar. Uh, so Euro here, from the weekly perspective, we're looking for a move higher. Uh, so in terms of the daily today, not much in terms of the movement here because of the uh, because it was holiday in US and Canada. So markets weren't really not much happening in the markets. But right now, as we can see from the daily perspective here, price is into resistance. So it has been stuck here for several days. So we need to see a breakthrough for this to continue. Otherwise, we can see a drop here. So uh, watch out for that in terms of the volume. Volume has been declining as well, which is doesn't um, doesn't look too good for euro. So what we need to do here is see if price is able to break through this resistance. If it goes through, next target here would be 1.2185. And then above that, we are looking at uh, 1.2220. So right now, neutral to bullish bias here. But the main critical level here would be this 1.2150. If it doesn't break through, I will look for price to move lower. So we'll watch out for that. So right now, neutral to bullish bias here for, uh, for our euro. Uh, pound here, pound looking quite bullish still. Um, as we can see, still into that bullish rally. Uh, next target here, today's candle close is bullish, looking for a 1.3. 3965. So this is bullish. And if we zoom out a bit above that, we are into 1.40. So bullish bias here for pound dollar. Aussie dollar here, this one is also looking bullish. As we can see, price is right into resistance though. So this is where we need to watch out. So neutral to bullish bias in this case, if we see that price is not able to break out through the resistance. So target right now is 0 0.7820. If it doesn't break out, we could get a similar move lower. So watch out for this one. Again, we could see a drop from here. So a neutral to bullish bias here, target is 0 0.7820. And then once price goes through, we will target higher. And in that case, 
next target that we are looking at here is 0 0.7870. So bullish bias uh, for Aussie dollar as well. New Zealand dollar, this one is also looking bullish. As we can see, price is pushing right into this resistance. So we do need to see a break through this resistance. We need to see price hold on the other side. And then next target here is 0 0.7320. So bias is bullish just with caution here because price is right into the resistance right now. Dollar CAD here, this one is bearish as we can see. Price is wanting to break through the support level here. So once we see price hold on the other side, then, um, so this one, as we can see, price, price is breaking out. So once it holds here, we're looking for a continuation move lower. 1.2520 is the target here. So bearish bias for dollar cat. All right, so let's take a look at our commodities now. Starting off with silver, um, this one looks um, like it's holding on or seems to be holding on to the slight bullishness doesn't look extremely bullish, but it does have bullishness in it. So next target here is 28.00. If it goes through that, we are looking at 28.50. Uh, so right now, neutral to bullish bias here for silver, 28 and then 28.50 is the next target. In terms of our gold here, gold um, hanging around here uh, doesn't seem to have much momentum. Um, in either direction here. So bias is neutral right now. Uh, this is where price has been trading for a bit. So I'm looking for price to uh, pull back towards 1830 here. And if it holds below 1830, we may see a next leg lower here. So watch out for this support resistance level. This is very, uh, this is a strong support resistance level. So I'm looking for a retest here. If it holds, then looking for a drop from there. Right now, bias is neutral. And uh, target here is 1809.50. So bias is uh, neutral here for gold. Um, all right, oil here. Oil looking uh, bullish, oil has moved up. Um, I would be um, careful though, uh, because we are coming into uh, some levels that we haven't seen in quite some time since the beginning of January or back into the November or 2019. So right now uh, there is still momentum to the upside. So 61 is the target, but watch out. This is where price could turn. And then if it does go through though, we'll look for the next level, which is around 61.80. So bias is neutral to bullish here for oil. Copper looking very strong here. Um, as we can see, price did a back test, broke through, this, uh, through the resistance here, and now looking for price to go towards this 3.83 level. So bias is still bullish for copper and target is 3.83. Uh, Bitcoin here, Bitcoin uh, holding on to this bullishness here. We got that move through the resistance price breakout, broke out of the range. And now it seems to be hanging around here. Next target here is actually the first target is the uh, top of this range it's been trading in, 49,150. If it goes through, then we're looking at 50,720 level. So bias here is bullish still for Bitcoin. I would watch out though, uh, we could get a, a retest. We, we could see a drop here because this is an inefficient move. So uh, we could see a move lower from here and then a back test lower before it goes higher. Um, so watch out for that. But right now, neutral to bullish bias here for Bitcoin. Stock market looking quite bullish here, S&P 500. Uh, bias is still bullish here in terms of the target. We're looking at 4,000 uh, 4, level here. So bullish bias for S&P 500. Um, in terms of NASDAQ here, this is also looking bullish. Um, as we can see, prices price is holding above the previous resistance level here. So still has that bullish momentum. In this case, the first target is 14,000. Um, and then we would look for higher levels. So 14,000 is the target here, bullish bias for NASDAQ. And then our um, 
our Dow Jones here also looking bullish as we can see prices breaking out of this range um, looking for next like higher target here is 31,900 and then 32,000 so bias is bullish for Dow Jones as well. DAX here DAX is uh, struggling with the resistance here. This is the high of the range. And at this point, it hasn't quite broken through the resistance. So watch out for that. Bias is overall still looking bullish, but with caution here because it seems to be struggling a bit. So next target here would be, let's draw this out. So we have uh, 14,200 is the next target. Uh, but watch out for the resistance. If it doesn't go through 14,150, then we could see a move back into the range. So bullish bias, just with a bit caution here. Uh, FTSE looking very bullish here, huge move to the upside here um, and looking for a further move to the upside. First target is 67.80, then 68.30. So bullish bias for FTSE as well. And then we have uh, Nikkei here. Nikkei also looking bullish. And uh, in terms of the target, it's already gone to the weekly target. Uh, 30,800 is the next target here. So bullish buys for Nikkei as well. All right, so that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful trading day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.